Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Beneath Oressa. I think it's Oressa. You know, there's many ways to interpret that. But anyway, Beneath Oressa is a fighting roguelike deck builder. Yes. Yes, another one. That is, uh, you know, comes to great uh, applaud and or groans. You're either very burnt out on deck builders or you're, you, you just want more of them. I stand in the... Uh, the latter half of that, I kind of really like deck builder games, uh, or especially you know the the deck building roguelite genre. I think they're a lot of fun. Uh, they can feel a little samey. We'll have to see if this one is in the samey category or the the more novel category. But uh, it already like from screenshots, uh, videos, it looks really cool. So let's have a look. Uh, I don't know how to play the game. We'll probably be doing the uh, tutorial doing uh, stock everything this is the demo so a lot of the uh, you know extra characters and stuff is going to be on the you know locked for us so that's all right um patriarch of house agica de faraday listen i don't know how to i don't know how to pronounce stuff and we have a companion we have another this is i swear the third deck builder this week that has companion mechanics um, not saying that that's, you know, not still novel, but um, it is the third in this week that I've covered that has companion mechanics. Let's see, let's see what they do with them. Uh, I see Harris. Um, Eris? To survive no matter the odds. Card, the wolf within. Each fight heals 5 HP. Card, listen, I can't pronounce some of these words. I'm, I'm super ignorant, I'm sorry. I do. I will say I, the aesthetic of this one is novel. We're, we're going for kind of a almost Borderlands cyberpunk thing. Um, less choices in our like a road map here. Uh, we've got a couple of choices later on, but this is way more linear than than a lot of the uh, deck builders have been so far. Um, choose a strategy. Better fight rewards. I mean, I guess we have a choice here. Challenge, better fight reward. This fight, a random foe gain 25 HP max. Uh, let's just try a no effect. I'm not seeing much tutorialism, so we'll have to play it. We'll just have to wing it. Um, so we've got combat. Um, combat, I guess combat points. We're going to do a certain amount of damage. If the target is still alive on this turn, on its turn, it gain one smite. I'm assuming smite is a good thing. So let's go ahead and do that. We I didn't seem to have a choice of who to target. Oh, I see. We're not done yet, so we have like a combo. So we're we're playing cards in a in a combo. Counterattack. You have a charge meter. Each turn, uh, each two turns in your hand gain zeal for the turn. Um, when discarding a zeal card instead of playing it, gain two combat. When charge meter is full, automatically cancel and counter the next strongest melee attack. When counterattacking, deal damage equal to your retribution. Okay. And then, so that's our counterattack wheel. Um, that was our attack. Can we choose who to, uh, who to attack? Yes, we can. I had, to, I had to search a little bit for it, but we got it. Um, return an attack from your discard pile. It co if it costs zero, gain one smite. Well, chances are it's not going to cost zero because all of the cards I played did in fact cost... Oh, I guess this one costs zero, so there is a one in three chance. All right. Oh, I see. We have a choice. I thought it was going to do it randomly. Well, let's uh, let's do the zero cost one then. Because then we gain smite. Gain We gain four retribution from that. And it's also a zero cost attack. Okay. So... How much energy? We have one energy left, so we can do one more combo set. I like, uh, you know, playing cards in a row is kind of nice. Um, I don't know if I can't do anything else. Oh, they get to attack now. We've got a very, this is a very cinematic deck building uh, fighting game, I gotta say. Zeal passing. Gain for retribution. I'm not sure what zeal passing means. And then we have gain seven block. That's these are our, we got all of our attacking cards in the first turn. Now we have all of our blocking turn uh, cards. Maybe zeal gain one smite on counter attack. We don't. Uh, it's going to be a while before we get uh, our counter attack. Each two cards in your hand gain zeal for the turn. Um, 
I'm not sure. Oh. Oh, I see. When discarding a zeal card instead of playing it, gain two, uh, two charges on our counterattack. So that's how we gain counterattack is by discarding a zeal card. I'm not sure when and how we would discard a zeal card. We can we can play again one smite. Uh, this guy is almost dead, so we'll we'll go ahead and kill them. Yep. Nice. And then um, I assume we have we can see the intentions of the enemy moves in your zone before attacking. Afflict with a negative effect or card. Are those the intentions? I wonder. Increase increases damage from attacks by this value per hit. There's a lot of uh, stacking effects that that occur in this game okay um let's go ahead and do some block that gives us some uh retribution when counterattacking. oh i see so we want we want retribution because then when we do a counterattack, we do far more damage it seems to me you could build uh into that mechanic probably in this game you can you could pick cards that like are purely for for counter attacking I'm not exactly sure. Oh, I see. When you discard, even when you discard cards by ending your turn, it still counts as discarding them. So you would want to um, choose which card. You want to be picky choosy about which cards you discard because then the ones that you... Sorry, the, yeah. You want, you want to pick and choose the ones you're playing because the ones you're not playing, you're going to discard for more counterattack points. It might actually benefit you by holding on to some cards rather than playing them, because then you could uh, get some more points towards your counterattack. For instance, I have four points. I need four more points to uh, get a counterattack here. So um, if I only played two cards, then I would, um, I would, I would perhaps do a counterattack on the next attack, right? No, I was wrong about that. Probably because not all of the cards I discarded. Oh, each two turn, two cards in your hand gain zeal for the turn. Oh, I see. Okay, no, sorry, I, I am understanding now. So each turn, two random cards gain zeal. That's what that means. So um, basically, if I choose to discard these two cards, it will add to my counterattack. So I am, I am, I do benefit. By playing everything else, I could I could choose not to uh, go for that zeal, but um, in fact I only need one zeal now, so we can go ahead and return an attack from your discard pile. Let's go ahead and do that. We don't have a zero cost card, but that's okay. Uh, we can't even play this, so I, I did waste that zeal, but that's fine. We're gonna get we're gonna get that last bit of zeal, and we are gonna get our counter attack, and that did enough damage to kill them. This is cool. I like this. See, now this is this is novel. I love the idea of deliberately not playing cards um, so that they add to a, a sort of a meta attack is really cool. Um, that's that's really neat. So this one we lose zeal. I'm gonna call it zeal, I, I guess, or, or lose counter attack points. But we draw three, um, gain six defense. Choose an attack in your hand. Shuffle it into your draw pile. It deals. 15 extra damage until played. Okay, that's cool. Next round, gain two energy and two draw. I mean, this is a card that exists in probably every single deck builder, but that doesn't mean it's, you know, not a good card. It just, you know, like, it, as as we, I was talking a lot about our previous entry, the Endies Lies games on stream. And, you know, there's, there is a difference between like having mechanics that have been established by previous deck building games and then having basically cards that are verbatim copied from previous mechanics. I know that sounds very similar, but basically it's okay to borrow as long as you introduce something novel. I've already seen something novel from this game, so I'm 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 cool uh, if they if they you know you need to borrow a couple of things here and there from other games. Um, choose an attack in your hand, shuffle it into your drop. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds kind of cool. And we gain a defense. I didn't see our companion do much in there, unless they just give us a, a passive effect between rounds. Um, gain one Antiquarum among, among three. Uh, let's do that. We did take a little bit of damage, but let's see what this is. Select one Antiquarum. Cross 
Cross of Argoth. Each round, if there's only one foe left, a random attack in your hand reduces its cost by two for the round. When the fight starts, lose two HP, then gain 18 defense. Interesting. Your attacks with a cost of two deal 10 extra damage. I like this first one. This uh, this is the one that I could definitely play um, into. So we do have choices, even though we don't get to choose our path is uh, you know, we don't have as much agency over our direction. We still have lots of choices to make. I guess if I was, you know, I, I think that we could stand to see a bit more agency in this roadmap. Like, you know, that's, I guess that's the thing is like, it doesn't really look like every previous roguelike deck builder. And I'm like, why doesn't it look like every previous deck builder? Because, you know, there's always like road, you know, forks in the roads. I know there's like two forks here, but Truth be told, they both look like th the same choice. Um, increases teamwork by one. Okay, interesting. Upgrade one of your cards. Remove one card from your deck. That's always something we want to do. Um, well, but let's upgrade one of our cards. Uh, okay, so we do get choice. We get a choice over how we upgrade these cards. I like this one. We gain one zeal um, from that. So let's do that. And, you know, I guess if I was, if I wanted to, like, if I was playing this game legit, like, when I, when I potentially pick up the game, uh, I would probably want to build into counterattacks, because they seem like a cool mechanic. And it also gives me some interesting choices to make, um, you know, when it comes to discarding cards. Okay, uh, this fight, a random foe gain two cripple. This fight, 50% chance you gain one cripple. I, I don't... No, it doesn't seem to like give us any extra rewards, so I will choose not to. We do have three foes this time. This guy seems easy to kill, though. He's only got 18 health. We could probably, we can kill him now, actually. Although, these two cards have our zeal, so we might want to discard those cards. I will say it's a little bit hard to tell um, how much damage we're going to be taking. Like, is this... Two times five damage, is that what I'm reading? Um, and is this five damage? Moves in your zone before attacking. So is, does this is this to mean that um, we we will not be attacked right away, and then this guy is going to attack us right away? Stays in zone when attacking. I'm not sure what these mean, but that's okay. I don't. I haven't played the game for too long. So let's go ahead and do a biting parade, and then we'll do. Attack. We should be able to kill this guy right away. There we go. And then we'll pass. Although we did move in their zone. So he moved in our zone. Oh, I see. There's kind of a, a, a movement and placement in this game as well. Like, there's there seems to be two zones. So he can fi attack us from any zone. But because we moved into their zone... This guy was able to attack me. Is that what I'm to, to gain from that? Gain one smite on counterattack. That's pretty good. It's too bad I'd, I had, I'd have to play it and we would gain less zeal. Add temper, unleash, or feed the wolf to your hand. Okay. Um, I kind of want to not play those, although it would mean... You know, those are our most interesting cards right now, I must say. But we'll... We'll continue as we are. If the target is still alive on its turn, gain one smite. Well, it will definitely be... Oh, I see. So, depending on who we choose, we'll move into their zone. So, let's choose the ranged unit. And then we'll pass. So, that guy is going to be shooting us. This guy is moving into our zone. It seems to me he can he still gets to attack us, so moving into your zone does not necessarily mean it needs an extra turn to do so. Um, I have a funny feeling, though, that depending on where a, an enemy is, it's going to have a different effect on how we approach them. Like, for instance, maybe if we leave a melee unit to go and attack a ranged unit, maybe they get like some kind of attack of opportunity, a la a D&D a &D style kind of combat. We are taking some nasty damage. If this card is discarded at the end of your turn, add a copy to your discard pile. This is bad, right? 
So it, is this a card that um, is this one of those cards that they've given me? They've added to my deck, um, and therefore I need to try. I need to waste energy to get rid of it. It seems to me that is the case. This guy has zeal again. Choose an attack in your hand. Shuffle it into your draw pile. It deals 15 extra damage. Well, the thing is, is that okay? So what? This is our only attack, I think. Yes. So we'll do that. I'll play this just to get rid of it, and then we'll gain some defense, and then we'll discard the rest for some extra zeal. We are taking really horrendous damage, but I am trying to learn the game right now. I, I gotta say, I love the animations. This game's got quite a lot of, uh, I don't know, it, it's very dynamic. It's one of the most, like, um, like, I don't know, animated deck builders I think I've ever played. So we gotta start making some hard choices. I can't just keep discarding. Oh, that's interesting. That's really interesting. So the card that, the useless card has zeal on it. So I actually benefit in a way by not playing it, but by not playing it, it's gonna, we're gonna start seeing copies of it in our deck. That's actually really cool. Um, let's go ahead and just play, play what we got. We'll play what we got. We can we can we can uh, charge that one up again. Uh, I, I cannot abide by it's, it's a it's a cool idea that by holding on to a nasty card like that we would actually benefit from us from it. But I'm not I'm not actually going to do that. If the target is still alive on its turn, gain one smite. Gain one smite on counter. I don't know what smite is yet. Is smite? Um, is that? The counterattack uh, charge. I feel like that's what it's called. It never called it that, but I feel like that's what it would be. Who knows? We should be able to counterattack. Can we counterattack that guy? No. I died. I was unable to counterattack either of those despite the fact that I had a full charge. Well, I died. Wow, this game is hard. Wow. <laughs> All right, we gotta we gotta try again. I, I I can't I can't leave it at that. And also, I mean, testament to um, this. Oh, I see. It, it was telling us that we can use I can use the mouse wheel to pick our enemies. A testament to this game's uh, addictive nature. I do want to try again. Because this is actually really cool. If the target is still alive on its turn. So I don't think we're going to be able to defend. We, I have to, I can't just like build into zeal every time. We're going to be taking uh, 12 damage from what I can tell. So we want to play one of these. Um, and then we'll do this. They're still alive. So we're going to gain one smite. I assume that is this. There's three enemies here. I didn't even realize that. We can keep this smite. Oh, smite is a card. Smite is a card. <laughs> that's why, that's what it meant. Smite is not the counterattack uh, meter charge. It is a card and it, it does um, six damage and gains us four retribution. Which is going to add to our, the damage of our counterattack. Okay, I understand now. I understand. Um, kind of want to fight the other one first. Alright, well, maybe not a great turn, but... I have a funny feeling it's very difficult to to play uh, a combat without taking some damage. So we're going to be taking 10 damage on this turn, I assume. Moves in your zone before... Oh, I see. Affect, afflict you with a negative effect or card. Okay. How come I can't play this? Return an attack from your discard pile. Oh, that's why. If the target is still alive on its turn, gain one smite. Okay, let's do that. And then I'm going to bring that back into our hand. 
because it's going to give us a smite and we're going to play it again and then I'm going to play a smite card and then let's gain we have enough for a counter attack um tempting I think I can just kill it like I'm going to I'm going to do that I guess we can defend. I, I'm going to keep this last card. I don't want to kill it because then we'll gain a smite card. We will use our counter attack. And I do think we did get another smite card from that. So I, I am starting to learn. So now we can just like beat this guy up. Beat him up. Oh, that was so satisfying, I got to say. Learn new techniques. Select one card. Gain uh, defense. Gain seven uh, retribution. Each round, if your HP are lower than your retribution, gain six something until the end of the round. Discard your hand. Draw as many cards as your charge meter. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. Um, none shall ignore. Each round, if your HP are lower than your retribution, gain six something until the end. All right, I'm going to try this, and I want to know what the something is. I think that is, a, is actually a really interesting card. Um, remove one card from your deck, gain one Antikorum. All right, let's remove something, probably just a basic attack. It's usually a good idea to remove basic attacks so we can replace them with better ones. When the fight starts, a random attack in your hand gains five damage until played and you gain one energy. Okay, I mean, that's something. It's a very, very minor, basic uh, kind of passive effect. <clears throat> This fight gained 10 defense first round. This fight draw two cards first round. Let's let's gain that defense. We're going to be taking 8, um, 15 damage. I'm good at math. <laughs> Alright, so it would benefit us. Oh, we're going to do 14 damage. Okay, we can kill this guy. We can We can defend ourselves and kill that guy. And we can still gain all of our zeal. Why is the place shaking? Was there three enemies again? There's three enemies. How did I miss that third enemy? Like, I just, I just didn't see them. Okay. So they're doing, they're going to do five melee attack and this guy's going to do five ranged attack. So this is where I do my cool oath thing again because that was fun. I really like that oath thing where I play Oath and then I bring it back into our hand and then I do it again and that way I'm going to get two smites on my next turn and then uh, I'll defend twice and gain one zeal. Um, so we got our two smite cards. I could... Why, does, why do our smite cards both have zeal on it? Yo, that's kind of a problem. <laughs> that's a bummer. This guy's gonna about to do 15 damage. I don't know if that's 15 close damage. Oh, stays in its zone when attacking. If you're not in their zone, you will not be damaged. There you go. There, there's where zones come into play. So I actually benefit a lot by attacking the ranged dude because then I will not be taking that damage. We'll use that passive. I'm interested in how that's going to work. We'll play this. And, I mean, I could kill this guy. No, you know what? It's better if we don't play these because then we'll gain our counterattack. Except they're not in our zone, so I don't get to counterattack them. Okay, well, I, you know, I'm still learning. I wonder, does Smite get shuffled into our deck? It does. So in a way, not playing Smite is a problem because then we are, we're going to be drawing Smite in our future hands. And they're good when they're free, but if we're, they're taking the place of cards that, uh, that we could, you know, could be playing better cards, then, then they're not as good. So we're gonna just going to oh, go ahead and kill this guy. And then I'm going to go ahead and defend. Use a smite. And uh, this guy's going to be doing melee damage. So we want to get that little bit of retribution because they're about to get absolutely demolished. 
fun. I, I'm having fun. This is good. I like this. So this one, for the cost of one uh, charge, uh, does 19 damage. That's really nice. If the target is far, gain one energy. This is interesting. On counterattack, this card gains five damage. I like this one. I know it's the least interesting, maybe, but I like it. Um, it says this card gains five damage. Is that forever? Or just for the combat? Probably just for the combat. Upgrade one of your cards, remove one of your cards. Gain one card among six. I like upgrade your cards and remove your cards. Okay. So I'm going to upgrade this one. We gain one more charge. I definitely am liking the counterattack charge uh, mechanic, so I want to build into that as much as I can. Um, I'll get rid of one of our defends. I got rid of a, an a, a attack last time, so we might as well kind of even things out. You definitely want to, uh, you know, you want to have as much defense as you have attack. Better fight reward. The f this fight, a random foe gains 25. Yeah, let's try it. Let's, let's uh, get a little bit spicy. Okay, so this is actually, this actually evens out now. So by playing it, we still gain one charge. So it's actually not worth holding on to because we get the other effects as well. Um, who do we want to fight? What is this? Sly attacker. Each hero's attack not directed at this foe gives him... Oh, I see. So we want to we wanna fight this guy first, basically. Um, tempting to use this last one. We have 14. We're going to take more damage. Honestly, let's play a little bit defensively. Yeah, we lo we lost a little bit of zeal, but we're going to take no damage. And we gain more retribution, you know? Like, a slow burnt build still means that we're gaining uh, retribution. Um, let's definitely return an attack card from your discard pile. I think I have Oath in there. Definitely have Oath. Let's go ahead and use Oath on this guy. They will survive this uh, flurry for sure. It's a nice series of attacks. We could kill them. Um, honestly, I should. It would save me five damage. On counterattack, this card gains five damage. I'm going to... I want to build our counterattack. So we're going to take some damage here. You know, uh, health can be considered a currency as well. Each round, if your HP are lower than your... Oh, I just realized... Oh, no, okay, this is this is fine. Um, this is an interesting card. Our health lower than... I was thinking our charge meter, but no. Like So if we have less health than, like, 28, then we gain 6. And I still don't know what that is. But we'll we'll find out, I'm sure. Gain 1 smite on counterattack. So this is, like, one of those power passives. Like, it, it uh, takes effects for the rest of the combat. So I am going to use this. I wish we could kill this guy. Is there any way we can... No, it doesn't look like we can attack this guy or kill this guy at all. That's a real bummer, I got to say. So what I might... Well, huh. I don't know what that uh, symbol means. I'm just wondering, since we can't kill them... We will definitely kill them on counterattack. So I'm wondering if it wouldn't be better to actually uh, go and attack something else. Um, all right. So we'll keep the zeal. We should be able to counterattack. This guy is going to shoot us. This guy's going to come over and we're going to counterattack them. We gain a smite for that. This guy's going to shoot us. We are taking some nasty damage. We should be able to kill this guy this turn. This is going to give us some counterattack. Let's go ahead and just wipe him out. There's probably a more efficient way to do that, but... Return an attack card from... If it costs zero, gain one smite. Do we have Oath in there? We do have Oath. I think this is worth doing. I like, I like Oath a lot, and it's probably going to take effect. I don't know. Maybe maybe it was that was not smart. 
Maybe we maybe I could have killed this guy if I brought back a more powerful card. But either way, we're gonna we're gonna make it through this. So that was a tougher combat, but we do gain more rewards. Gain one uh, counterattack charge, gain defense equal to twice your charge meter. That's kind of nice. And after the attack, if the target's HP are below your retribution, gain one charge. Otherwise, lose one. Oh, that's interesting. That is an interesting one. Uh, gain 10 defense if your retribution is at least 20. Gain 20 instead. Ah, Okay, I kind of like this one. This one's a little bit less uh, risk and lose, risk risk reward. It's a, a more of a uh, base, you know, kind of overall benefit. Upgrade one of your cards, heal thirty percent of your health, or increase teamwork by one. Uh, I s oh, I see. So if we increase teamwork by one, we get more of our companions' benefits. Right. Um. Well, it would like very largely benefit us by doing that, but I really think I need to heal some of our HP. Better better to uh, fight and run away. Remove one card from your deck, increase teamwork by one. There we go. Yeah, and this one, but this one would uh, heal us a bit more. Um, let's 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 increase our teamwork. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of another of our attacks. We do need to start replacing those a bit. Either the first or second round, gain one energy and card. Okay. So we have two of those uh, antiqu antiquarums. This fight increases your hand size by one. This fight increases your pulse max by my one. I don't know what that means. So we'll go with hand size. As much as I would like to learn new mechanics, I, you know, I also want to try and get far and uh, better... A bigger hand size is is better, I think, overall. Um, None Shall Ignore is good, but it's not going to be good for a while. So I shouldn't play it until basically it's relevant. I guess by playing it, I stop it from like reappearing in our hand. There's a, There's definitely an argument to be made there. I do appreciate that we can see the attacks even if we're not looking at those enemies. When this foe is destroyed, a random foe gains five something. I assume that means attack, like they become more more powerful. So there's some risk going on here. Uh, we're definitely going to want to use our oath, even though we're going to lose a little bit of zeal for doing so. I guess we have a bit more energy. We could play some of these power cards. Gain one smite on counterattack. None shall ignore. We'll play them. took three damage that was honestly totally fine so this guy is gonna do uh an attack we need to leave this zone and fortunately we got that smite otherwise we would not be able to leave the zone which is insane to me um but yeah we'll, we'll leave that zone i will uh yeah oh return we'll return oath again um reason being <sighs> is we're gonna kill this guy Luckily, we got a, a smite from that. We're going to kill this guy, but we aren't going to kill this guy. We are not going to kill that guy. So um, doing oath on them makes make sure we get another uh, smite card. Add temper, unleash, or feed the wolf in your hand. Let's try this. I want to see what this does. Lose two HP, gain one card. Gain a copy of this card. Gain two smite. Each round, gain one smite. Oh, I like that. It costs an energy, but that's really cool. Uh, gain one charge, gain defense equal to twice your charge meter. That sounds very good. Although, um, we don't really need to do that. No, we don't need to, but... Alright, let's do it. Because we gain one charge. The defense, I was going to say, is not really necessary. I guess we could have gotten a charge from this as well. Oh well. Can't play it perfectly optimally every time. I gotta say, I really like this. I think this is my next deck builder, for real. Um, like, you know, for me, I, I I haven't played to completion a lot of deck builders. Slay the Spire and Monster Train are basically it. There might be another one in there, but I can't remember. 
Um, but this one, this one is, it feels very fresh to me. Knockback. On counterattack, this card gains five damage. Right. We want to do a counterattack for that one to become better. Um, let's just throw our smites in there. I'll, yeah, okay. I was wondering if this guy was going to do some grenading nonsense, but it doesn't seem like it. We are going to be able to um, twice your charge meter. So we will gain more defense from that. And, I mean, heck, you know, this is this is good. This guy is going to get t destroyed by our counterattack. I wonder, does that guy, so that guy attacking, even though, like, it doesn't drain on your defense at all if you're counterattacking, which is good to know. So we're just going to kill this guy. I really like the smite cards. I know they're very small chips, but also just the animation alone is, like, kind of fun seeing those combo attacks. Next round, gain two energy and draw two cards. That's cool. If the target is far, gain one energy. Discard your hand draw as many cards as your charge meter uh yeah let's try that one i guess we should I, I do need more attack cards i've i've gotten rid of quite a lot of attack cards but i mean i have a lot of cards that give us smite so you know uh we could get fully healed i kind of want to um increase our teamwork so now we're going to be uh healing by like five percent every turn gain one injector among three that's if we win this this is going to be a harder battle Let's try a harder battle, uh, just to see what that looks like. Draw two cards, erase a card in your hand. On draw, draw one more card, I guess. Or gain three attack, I have to assume. I don't know what that is. On draw, draw one card. Choose a card in the discard, return it, and reduce its cost by two until played. Uh, so I feel like these others are, are more interesting. Let's do this one. Erase a card in your hand seems like nice and draw two. Like it's it's just a good effect. What would we get rid of right now? Return an attack. I, I, I can't stand it when this guy gets zeal. Um Hmm. So we're gonna be taking 18 damage here. What is this? When this foe is killed, gain 15 defense. Is that for me or for someone else? Interesting. Um, let's do our wolf first. Each round gain one smite. That's a great card to play on the first round because we're going to gain smite for like ever. I don't think there's any cards I want to erase in our hand yet. I guess maybe Biting Parade. Uh, we'll, we'll do this now. Erase one card. Um, yeah, let's get rid of a normal Biting Parade. So this uh, premeditated pre defense is not going to do basically anything for us for a while. Uh, what is this? Cancels the next attack against them. Oh, see, that's this is another reason why Smite is, is, a, is a good good idea um hmm well we'll throw we'll do some defense for sure um i'm just wondering yeah i guess we'll we'll wait we, we got to do some attacking right i don't want to play against adversity i'm going to play this instead we don't gain a lot of defense from it but we also gain a charge so worth it we took a little bit of damage, but that's okay. Oh, we took a little bit more damage. How come I always miss the third enemy? Are they just like not in the combat yet? Or am I? are they like in a blind spot? So this guy is going to cancel our next attack. That's okay. That's what we have smites for. Um, so we could possibly power this up this turn. I'm not sure if we need to play this in order for it to gain five damage or if we need to not play it. We'll play this because we're about to counterattack. We will play that. Um, that was maybe dumb. We're going to take a lot of damage this turn. I should not have played that last card. That was a mistake. 100% a mistake. Oops. If 
your HP are lower than your retribution. We're not going to play that until it's relevant. Uh, I think I need to play this, even though, like, we're not going to gain their counterattack anyway. And I will play this. I don't know what knockback does. That's an interesting idea. If this foe is still alive on its turn, gain one smite. It looks like knockback knockback uh, hits it into the the other zone, but he's just going to run back. So it might be good for um, enemies that have, like, proximity attacks. We should be able to kill this guy this round. So we should do that. Uh, we should do this now because if we gain any more charge, I guess it won't... Never mind, because we can gain the maximum amount of defense. Even if we have a full charge meter, it doesn't use it right away. Draw as many cards as your charge meter. Oh, I mean, that's kind of cool, but um, not not the time, to be honest. Can we kill this dude? We could kill this dude. I think we could kill that dude. We should kill that dude. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and do that. All right, that's one down. I would like to use a smite against this guy, but it only matters, I think, if... Um, Hmm. No, we should do a premeditated defense. That's a full charge, and we also gain a lot of defense. Draw as many cards as you have charge meter. This could be nice. We we only have one energy left to play. In fact, if I play this, then we have zero energy to play, but maybe we'll have some zero cost cards to play. Yeah. Return an attack from your discard pile. It costs zero Gain one smite. Okay. So we can still make some plays here. I know we could... Uh, I could have taken some different cards that would have given us retribution. But it doesn't really matter because we it wouldn't have given us... Like, either of those would not have given us enough retribution that the counterattack would have killed anyone. Although maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe if I had had enough retribution, our counterattack would have killed this guy this turn. But either way, we're going to take no damage and we are going to get a lot of smite cards. So I'm, I'm happy with that. Let's uh, kill this dude. I don't know if none shall ignore was a good choice, to be honest. Uh, let's go ahead and use Oath on this guy, because, um, you know, we're going to get a smite from that. We are going to kill this guy with smite. The nice thing about cards that you can't really make use of is if they get the zeal, they're still worth discarding, right? Uh, we have enough defense. I think it's worth the extra charge to not play that. I mean, we're probably going to kill this guy like this turn, but um, do we have Oath? We do have a lot of Smites, so let's get those played. Uh, we could possibly do another counterattack soon. But you know me, I'm, I'm a creature of habit at this point. We're going to do that Smite and that Oath, and that's actually going to kill them. No, it's not going to kill them. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's just uh, finish this off. So that wasn't too bad. We didn't take a lot of damage considering that was supposed to be like the big bad. Not the big big bad, but a, a hard combat. Each fight, the first time a foe acts while you are at 20 HP or less gain, 40 defense. Um, I don't like low, like low health or critical health effects. First time each round your hand is empty, draw one card. Um, interesting idea. That's a, that's a mechanic straight out of uh, Slay the Spire. I feel, but uh, that's, that's, a, that's okay. I liked it in Slay the Spire as well. Each round, the first time you you attack a foe, far, draw one. Okay, this seems nice. So we, we benefit quite a lot from attacking far foes. I love these little um, diorama-like things. They, they're, they're really nice. They got a great sense of uh, atmosphere. Gain one card among six, upgrade one card, remove one card. We should start gaining some cards because I really don't have a lot. 
gain one charge, gain one energy. This is a really nice card. And we only gain five attack from it, but we will be charging up our uh, counterattack. On counterattack, this game, uh, this one wasn't as good as I, I was hoping it would be. Each time you play a smite, this card's damage increases by three until played. Well, I think I feel like we have a winner. When the round starts, if this card is in your discard pile and you have zero charge, return it. Lose one charge, draw three. When your charge meter char changes, gain three defense. I mean, that's kind of nice as well. When it changes, meaning if we gain anything, if we gain or lose anything, that seems really nice. All right, I got to take that one. So we're about to fight another big bag. Gain one card among two. Gain one inje injector among three. Let's gain another card. Another foe heals 10 HP. Ah, uh, interesting. But, aha. Uh -huh. If we have two of those, then we'll gain six HP every time our charge meter changes. So this guy's about to do 28 damage on his first turn. Calm down. It's just a game. Why you gotta be taking it so seriously, honestly? Um, so we're gonna gain as much defense as we can. Kinda wanna gain even more defense. We'll do some damage. It's okay, we have plenty of time to uh, gain more charge, but we will not have plenty of time if they like beat the crap out of us. Okay, so we wanna play this. I don't care if it's zealed, that's fine. Gain two smite each round. Gain one smite. I like this a lot. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. And um, I am gonna I'm gonna get rid of the zeal. I'm sorry. I want that extra smite card. Okay, if this card is discarded at the end of turn, lose h eight HP. Okay, we we, we gotta play that right away. But first, we prevail. They're gonna about to do 28, 29 damage. Oh my god. All right, well. Um, hmm. Can, we can knock them back. I don't know what that means, but. So what is this? Fury increases damage from attacks by this value per hit. So I was correct about that symbol. I wanna play we prevail. I have to play this. I have to play uh, Biting Parade. And I'm gonna save that smite. This is a uh, less than ideal. I think we're not gonna die, but we are gonna get pretty darn close to death. So they're about to do another 28 damage. I think we're, I think we're dead. I don't have anything to defend with. Stun. What does this mean? I wish we had, like, hover over, like, explain to me what this means. Um, if we could get even a little bit of defense. I, f I hope that the three defense we get from our charge changing will also take effect on this these zeal cards. We knocked him back twice, that's that's pretty fun. Um, so if we gain three defense from these cards, then I think we'll survive. I, we may survive anyway. It seems we gained uh, some defense anyway. Oh, we're also gonna counterattack. So that's nice. Okay, they're about to do 36 damage. Um, we got to get rid of this open wound. We do have some defense. So yeah, that gave us a little bit of defense. We are gaining a lot of extra defense. We may as well play this card while we can. Yeah, we, we are gaining defense from zeal cards. We're still taking damage, but I am surviving. Just barely. 
if I could somehow get a full charge here, then we could survive this. Um, let's go ahead and do our, our discard our hand. We, we gained a bit of defense from that. Oh, perfect. Perfect. There it is. And we'll do another counterattack and we're actually going to win. Excellent. We had 50 defense at the end of that. That's ridiculous. The first time each round your hand is empty. This is a neat card, but I don't think it benefits our deck. Each round gain one retribution per alive foe. Each time the deck is shuffled, gain 25 defense. Uh, this is good if we have a very small deck. This is good no matter what. Hopefully we're going to gain a couple of things here. Increase teamwork by one. That would give us card poor La Famille. I don't know what that means. Gain one random antic Antiquarum. Um, let's do this. We get a we get a new card. Remove one card from your deck. Let's remove another biting parade. Uh, let's get rid of an art of family. We'll get rid of the, some of the normal cards. And we get to rest. I'm probably going to go for health again. I guess heal 20 HP each critical fight. That's tempting, but we really need that HP really badly. Okay, we got to go for a, a very basic fight because we're not doing so good right now. Okay, Oath. Oh, I have to I have to take even though we lose some zeal, I have to play that. Um we'll do what is this? Attempts to flee far before attacking. I'm not sure what that means. Oh, I see. I guess it since they're doing ranged attack, they're probably they're they're going to uh right. So there was a yet another time. This is an, yet another time where there was a dude there and I just didn't see them. So I'm going to do next step because we're going to gain three defense from that. So we are going to block all of it, um, the damage. I'm not sure why we didn't draw more cards. Discard as many cards as your charge meter. I thought we had more charge. It'd be neat if that did like um, friendly fire, but I understand why they wouldn't do that. When this foe is destroyed, a random foe gains five def uh, attack. That's not great. Uh, return an attack. Oh, here we go. Poor la famille. It has zeal, unfortunately. Gain ten defense and one card. Um, we'll play it. We'll, we'll, we'll get, um, so, wait, does, do we not, um, is that card gone? Poor La Famille is, it seems to be gone. Let's, uh, we'll do Oath on the other character so that we guarantee we get that smite. Because we're about to kill that dude, and then we'll gain two defense. We should be able to, uh, more than defend whatever they've got. We have a spreading infection. We'll go ahead and play that. Um, I guess I guess we will play We Prevail. It's going to just guarantee that we can defend against pretty much everything. Yeah, I really like the counterattack uh, mechanic in this game. It's really cool. I assume it's tied to this specific character. Like... Um, you know, there's like two other characters, so I'm, I'm assuming that, uh, maybe the other characters have a different kind of charging attack. Choose an attack in your hand. No, I like the Sanctified Smite. I wanted it the first time I saw it. We're, we're leaving the sewers and that's it. Much more to discover in the depths of Oressa. Yo, that game is really cool. Um, I'm actually excited for this game.
that is really fun. Uh, really nice novel mechanics, some some standby mechanics uh, we have that we have seen before. But you know what? Um, like they're they're building on the familiar, but they're creating something new and fresh as well. Um, and I really like the setting and the characters and the, the aesthetic. They, they've got some really cool stuff going on. Um, also, the zoning is is an, an interesting idea. I didn't really see a lot of use of it yet, but the the uh, there, here comes that word potential is there to see some really interesting kind of uh, positioning tactics, but not too much tactics. Like I've seen some deck building uh, tactic games before. They're generally not my cup of tea, but th I think this is going to make it work because it is so simple. There's just the two zones, and that makes for some uh, interesting ch situations where you have uh, some choices to make. But yeah, this was Beneath Oressa, and I really like it. Um, if you enjoyed this video or found it informative, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.